everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make another Christmas card this one is a gatefold and then when you open it it's got an eighth of an inch depth there okay on the side don't worry I'm going to show you how to make the card as well um, and when you open it up you've got your lovely Christmas tree I've decorated mine with just simple gems we're going to do a three colored one so you can see exactly what I've done there um, and also the presents I'm going to show you how to make this one the noise you hear when I'm shutting it is this little one it's a flap rubbing together as it comes together look you can see them quite satisfying isn't it <laughs> for me probably not for you so let's get started and I'll show you how to make it shall we so if you've been watching me before you'll know that my channel is all about the know-how so what we've got here is a piece of card. Now I like to make them so that you can do it over your US letter and your A4. Okay, so 10 and 3 quarters by 5 and a half. Now you can go deeper if you want to, higher. That's not going to affect the measurements. But I just thought let's try and get it kind of square. So you can obviously make it a bit bigger if you've got A4, but you'd have to work out the measurements on that one because I'd be here all day. Um, but what we're going to do is just score it and I will draw the pen lines in for you. So it's 10 and 3 quarters. And what we're going to do is score it at 2 and 5 eighths and 2 and 3 quarters at each end. So what you're going to have is just these little score lines here. This pen may not be strong enough to go in that groove, but you get the idea. So you've literally just got that little 1 eighth mark there and we're going to do exactly the same on the other side I won't mark it um, I have got another one ready to go so we're not going to be using this one this is just to demonstrate how to do it and then again two and five eighths and three quarters so you've got that same mark in there then all you need to do is fold it now top tip for folding this is fold this line this one first because once you folded the other one it's really hard to come back and do that trust me I've tried it so if you've got a ruler or something like that put it up against that first line and it will help the other one not folding because for some reason this outside one doesn't want to be the one that folds first so get that one move your ruler along with straight edge anything book edge and then you can lift that one up to it so what you'll get is that on the side and then you can reinforce those so you can push it down and reinforce it with your scoring tool and then come backwards which it really doesn't want to do if you haven't already pre-scored that trust me especially when you're using a bit thicker card so you've got that nice edge in on that side and then again on the other side you do the same see how it just wants to take that edge for some reason so get your ruler up against the outside one score that one first then allow the second one to happen, which it'll probably do quite happily on its own. So we'll do that first one, pull it back, and then pull it forward. And what you'll have is like almost like a little box card. They'll meet in the middle lovely, but then you've got that one eighth of an inch depth on the side, which you're going to need for your paper. You can see it's empty at the moment, but when you've got those papers in on these corners, and you can see it will meet up perfectly. So that's how you make your card base. Now let's do the tree. So to make the tree, you're going to need four lots of each size. So you're going to need four rectangles, okay? Now bear in mind to cut the shape. Okay, so if I give you the heights first, um, then that'll probably make it a little bit easier. So you're going to need four of them that are three inches high and four inches wide. Okay, you might want to write that down. So four times three inches high four inches wide then you're going to need four more the next size down and this next size down is in the height first so in the height it's two and a half by three and a half and then the final one make sure your patterns run the right way if you've got a pattern that matters then this one is going to be two inches high by two and a half okay so two inches high two and a half wide Two and a half inches high, three and a half wide, three inches high, four wide, and you need four of each. Okay, now all you're going to do, and it's paper, so we don't need to score it, is fold it in half. And you don't want to use anything much thicker than paper because it'd be really hard. Now, make sure 
before you do your cut that your fold is this way that Santa's looking up the right way for Father Christmas and then this one it's a pattern that doesn't matter so it wouldn't matter if you turned it upside down when you do your cuts but just when you're going to do your cut make sure it's run the right way now make all of these the same okay because they are going to go back to back so it's really important that they're all the same so we're going to fold all of these in half i could have done the other three couldn't i so i've already made the tree so don't panic it's not going to be mega long in the demo i'm going to show you how to put two panels together because it does matter you need to see two and then um we'll put the complete tree together pop it in the card so that's that one so that this is the next sec section and the reason that i fold them all first is because i draw on one and then i use that as a template to cut the others out i'm not going to draw um lines on all of them it is just point to point cutting so if you're good with a ruler and a craft knife go ahead and do that if not then i suggest you um just use your scissors so make sure again he's the right way around and you're just going to go this is the folded edge okay so fold on the left and you're going to go from that top left corner to the bottom right corner and draw a line now i might go off a bit because i'm at a funny angle for this i don't get my head under the camera but it gives you a guidance okay so i'll just do all three sizes because you're just doing the same point to point like i say you only have to do it on the first three and then just use the top one as a template for cutting the others i'll show you all of it don't worry there's that one and then finally last one oh can't see the point i think it's about there like i say it's a guide so oh no it's just give me a make sure i do a straight line so make sure that he's round the right way last chance before you cut so what we're going to do we'll cut the big one first because it's easier for you to see so you're just gonna oh, drop the glue how do you do why did i say that i don't know so <laughs> it is point to point and don't worry about lines you can't you won't see them so you just snip it off you've got two extra little bits there that are not joined together so that's your base one okay and then we're going to do the next one so the medium size i'm doing the same thing so and then finally the last one that's how many times i check to make sure it's up the other right way so one two three and you need to put these together before you go ahead and put i'll show let me explain that in a minute actually let's do this bit first so we've got a template and you're going to do this to all four obviously i've only got two here because i'd have to have done all four because they have to be exactly the same and they wouldn't have been because i couldn't measure because you'll understand why because i've already glued them so it wouldn't have worked we've got this one could sit on top of that make sure that the left side fold and the bottom are together and this is why you put the one you've cut on the top always because if you make a mistake in the cutting it will cut the top one and all the others will be fine so we're going to obviously have four of these get rid of these bits in a minute move them out of the way I don't know where the other one is. It's flipped it right over. Okay, so we just take this final one, do the same thing, line up the left fold and the bottom edge, and do the exact same cut. And if it changes, the bottom one's going to change with it. So we've got those. And the reason I've, I'm going to show you too is it is important. So just stay tuned and watch. So the way we're going to put these together is we're going to start with the smallest one and we're going to turn it over. We're going to pop it over and then get the next size. And then what we're going to do is measure an inch down. This is the only time you measure. Measure an inch down. It's the only time you'll measure for the whole of the tree. Put a little spot there so it's halfway. You know that the... Ooh, I said that way <laughs> naughty little tree top so this one's going to go on the crease and up to that point so you can see your glue you can sort of measure with your finger it's going to go on that bottom triangle area there and you're just going to pop that on there 
and make sure that your fold is in and you can once the glue's on you can fold it in half push it in just to make sure that it is up against that fold and everything's all good and tight so that's our first two you need to have this one on the top you see so that's why we do it upside down now for the final one you don't need to measure because this point is going to go the way I've designed it is so that the points always once you've got that one this one's going to go to the bottom of that one so made it simple as always that's what I like to do <coughs> excuse me let me just pop that one up to the line so I started a little bit lower down so that I can get my swing before the glue dries pick it up fold it in half make sure it's into the crease and that's how you get your first one now to do your second one the reason there's no measuring is because you put this one on top so you put that one exactly on top of that one like that then you take this one <coughs> it will move you know roughly where your glue's got to go as long as it doesn't go too low doesn't matter if it goes too high so you can hold this a bit tighter you need to sort of have the glue on and then go and put the points in so you can keep your glue up in the air get that point in that point in and they do need to be identical so this is why we're laying them on top of each other so they're all exactly the same which is why I couldn't prep and use these two because obviously the other ones I've done I might have aligned a little slightly a little slightly <laughs> very slightly differently so it would um it would have made a difference in the end product so point to point on there as well and there lay it down make sure it doesn't move always moves doesn't it on camera and again pick it up squash it make sure your fold line is in like that and you can reinforce all these fold lines at the end so it's really important that they're the same because you're going to do back to back gluing you see so they need to be all in the same position to do that back to back gluing which we're going to do now with the four I've made so <coughs> moving on we've got these four already done so you can see how cool it is looks really cute doesn't it and then we're just going to take one doesn't matter which one go on the left side this one put glue all over one side then I like to put it down on the ground one it's not the ground is it I'm not on the floor and then lift it and check it now the really cool thing is if it's slightly out any of them you see white line white paper and after you've maneuvered it it's still there it may well be on this one you can just take your scissors and cut it off so if there's a really bad white line don't panic if your cutting's off a little bit like at the bottom there once the glue's taken there's nothing you can do so you go back in I used to use tiny little embroidery scissors because they they get right to the tip and you can just go in and tidy that up no one will ever know except me and you so there you go so just squash those down like that make sure that see when you're um take your time and make sure that you've got glue all the way to the edges as well because it will show so that's two and you carry on with the same one so where you've got two together like that you're going to come on this side now so we're going to glue this one on you can put the glue on the one that you've already got two together if you know what i mean so we're just gonna do this pop the glue on like i say so the best thing to do is put a blob of glue there on all the points get your baby finger and pull it all out like that and then you'll get a good old addition where it should be so just make sure they're lined up this glue does dry pretty quick pin flare book binding glue just gonna try and line them up i think where i've cut that one other one this one's going to be out a little bit as well well donkey cutting sarah 
<coughs> so I'll take big scissors for this. So the side that you can see the white, snip it off. It's fine. A little bit more there. Can't go. I have to take it off. And even at the bottom, look at this. My like. So it's going to be wonky all the way through now, isn't it? Because I've made it more. The other thing to note is when you fold it that way, and then you fold it back the other way. If the glue's wet, it does move. So just be aware of that, okay? This is really wonky. Did I use the two that I just made? I bet I have. I bet I've picked up the two I just made, and that's probably why it's not working so well. It still worked, but there we go. A bit more, a bit more work, if you know what I mean. So we've got three there. One, two, three. So we need one more. We're going to pop that one on. And you can check which side it will work best. Well, I've been chippity chopped. Might go on the other side. Probably work better that side. Yeah. So where I chopped that one side, I've made them all out of sync. Or I've used the wrong trees. One or the other. Doesn't matter. It's all resolvable. No problem. So again, take so baby finger baby finger don't tend to use it for your craft much and then you can just rub it off on your palm for now got a bit with them you could always get on your project oh a little piece in there look it wants a it wants to play i don't want it to play no right so hopefully this is about right <laughs> Yeah, paper. Honestly, this one's better. Look, a bit wonky there. Move that. So I'm going to just cut this piece here. Once you cut one, I think you're cutting them all, eh? That's what it seems like. Yeah. But we got there. Oh, another bit here. Don't like that bit. That might be because it needs to be folded the other way. Let's see. No taking it off bear with me got to do it the other one went so smooth typical isn't it and I've got a bit here I've got to cut it off <laughs> sorry guys it's a bit bored of me <laughs> there we go that's better isn't it it's got to look right so now you'll see that you've got two bits at the back they're going to be the ones that go in your fold and you've got them up so that they can open like this so you've got one two three bits at the front and then a fourth one there okay so it looks like that half open okay so you can see how pretty it is i like it in three tier actually i think it's nicer so then with the card blank before i did my card blank i stuck on a banner and it always stick them on first because then when you do your score lines you can see they get really pushed into the score and then um, they'll stay in the right place otherwise they can shift away from the edge so all you need to do now is just, we've got this eighth of an inch for a reason. So what we'll do is we'll do, be the left side, put glue on the left side, like this, all the way along. And then we're just going to turn it over. And we're going to pop that onto the crease line that's on the inside. So that first one, look. Because you need that depth to wrap around the tree. We're not going to glue the tree to that um, one eighth of an inch. We're going to glue it to the edge. Give it a good old rub down. So we need it to take. And then we do the same on the other side. So we're just going to put glue all along that half of the tree. And then fold that in. Lift that up around the back and then glue that tree down. Now if there's anything overhanging at the bottom, which I, I might have a little bit, if it's bothering you, cut it off. Or you can put it further up inside the card. You just need to make sure that is dry. And then you open it up. Just manipulate them on the first couple of goes get them loose and you can see there we've got that lovely dimension it's kind of Italian 
we've got all those beautiful um papers that you've got at home now all the little scraps you can use up and make yourself a really pretty little tree so let's do the presents okay so for the presents now you can use any size bits of paper okay it doesn't matter so this is brilliant for using up all your scraps etc so of that one and that one are for my little side presents you only need little ones for that but what i have done is i've got a six a four and a two so they're six four and two like that okay so that's what i've done now the height of this one is only one and a quarter this is one and three quarters and this is two and a quarter so they're like half an inch apart because they do actually end up stacking like this so you want to be able to see the pattern underneath now all you need to do for these is fold them in half i just get a i'll do the bigger one first because you'll be able to see it easier so fold it in half like this and this is where you do your test so if you pop that in there, sorry, not that way, half in there, yeah, that is right. So you can see that it's too big, okay, because this is a smaller card than what I planned these presents for. So we're going to have to cut that down about half an inch. Now you can just chop that, it's fine. Just chop away, don't worry about it pop it back in and now it's shorter if i do it on that side it's more obvious it's shorter there so that one would be fine so like i say this it doesn't matter on size the actual size of it okay then you fold open it up and you fold the two edges into the middle like that just fold it all up and that would be your first present okay now you don't glue it you have to wait to the end so now that one's a bit shorter, we want to make this one a bit shorter really as well. But what I'll do is I'll fold it in half first. In, no, that way. That was a tree that goes in. This one goes out. So with this one, I'm going to just make it a bit shorter because I made, and like I said, I'm not measuring because it doesn't matter. As long as it's smaller than that one, it'll look better because you'll have stacked presents. So as long as it's smaller, which you can see it is, it's fine. So then... This one is going to come into the middle. I'm glad I um, had that too big actually because it shows you what to do, not to panic. Just cut it off. <laughs> if in doubt, chop it out. So we've got that one, and then we're going to have that one. So you can see we've got a nice stack present. So with this one, this one's probably going to be all right to be honest. Don't really want it too much. Yeah, it's definitely smaller look, so we'll be fine with that. So, fold it in half. Oops, it's already got a crease in there, but not in the right place. Like that. And then fold it in half again. To the middle. It's a bit, I'm going to put it down because it's a thicker paper. Oh, I won't get it even steaming. There we go. Into the middle like that. Check it like that. Make sure they're all reinforced. So what you've got now are four pieces. They're all different sizes. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the tallest one and have it at the back. And then just on the edge, you're going to join the edge to each other. Okay? Because what will happen is it will wrap around like that. But you only want glue just on that bit, but no taller than the piece of paper that's going to wrap around it if that makes sense if not watch the pretty picture <laughs> so where my where you can see my finger you don't want any glue going above that line so we can go like that okay just on that section and then get it on the edge not there edge to edge bottom to bottom and edge to edge glue it down so you've basically glued it on the end like that okay but making sure that there's no glue so same principle applies to this one this one's going to have glue but only on the spotty bit so and only up to my thumb now so only glue on this area like that and 
and down to there like that. You can see we're getting a nice little present stack. And then we're going to do the same on the back. So we're going to fold this one over. These will all fold in now because they're all in the right place. So if that is overlapping or anything, then it's fine because it all matters about just get make sure that the bottom's straight. That's what you need to make sure of. So again, this first one comes around to there. So no more glue than the height of that next object and only on that first half. That one comes to there. Don't worry about it being off. Just my cutting and folding. And then just make sure the bottoms align. And put glue on this section here for that last present to go on. And that one goes on there. Like that. Now, I need to wait for these to dry. So what you'll have, don't want it to glue to each other. So reinforce it that way. So you've got your stack and that's how it's going to sit in the card so fold that down make sure that they're all nice and scored so that they open lovely and then you can push it back and do it on those score lines as well so it's going to be going like that because that's how it's going to open and close in the card my finger and thumb of the card opening and closing you see so you're only going to now put glue on the bits that are going to touch the card on the back so that's all of these three sections they're going to go like that so you can line this up to be halfway between the one eighth thing because it's not as thick as all of the other um christmas tree and everything so you can just pop glue all over the back of this and pop it in the card line it up to be halfway on the one eighth and at the bottom there we go like so give it a good old rub down now what you might find is that the bottom present this tall skinny present has gone flat and it won't pop back up this one's going to but if it does just get a pokey tool at the bottom and just pry it open okay now that may not be dry enough to close but we'll give it a go so let's just check it's going in now I've got to make sure that's not coming out the bottom now if it is doing that I'm going to chop these presents off because the glue's taken so you can see there what I mean is you see we've got a little bit of overhang coming on there so I'm definitely going to take that off and which side it's on I'll just work like this because so, you want it to sit straight you don't want it to be a wobbly card so there we go so we just close it and open it obviously you need to decorate your card as well and you can see here the Christmas tree like I said before is overhanging but not all of it it's just where it went wonky and I cut it so just grab your scissors do it while it's closed I don't want to cut does it it's folding it's bent over on my scissor and now it won't stop bending over so Get these little bits out of the way. You can see there we've got the makings of a lovely card. Now what we need to do is make these other I'll show you how to make these other two little presents because they're quite cute. Uh, again, just fold it in half. I think this one is two inches by it doesn't matter about the height, to be honest. Um just fold it again, exactly the same principle, folding it in half and in half. Now this is the one where I want to have the um quirky little flaps down on the box like someone's had a little look in there so all we need to do for this one is cut off the two edge bits so we're going to cut these I'm going to cut it at the red line cut it down there and this side so you've only got the center to where the two folds are you've only got the center to and you're going to need to cut them in half or it won't fold because they're going to fold as the card closes so I'm just going to fold those down like that you can see that's going to give us that little who's had a peek in here then now if they're too long and it's covering up too much of your picture again you can go back in and you can snip them off I'm just going to snip that edge a little bit actually 
and then we can just go in and make them a little bit shorter or a lot shorter it's entirely up to you so there we go like that I mean if you think about it it should only be the size of the box <laughs> so this one what you do is this section goes on there and again you need to double check before you glue it in place that it's not going to affect your card and we know it's smaller than that area so it's going to be fine when it's folded flat it's smaller than that area but it's always worth a check so these two pieces are what you're going to glue so you just put glue on that side glue on that side we should get that bit of a smear I put quite a lot of glue on there didn't I like so and then one goes on the present I'll show you by opening it up so one goes on the present like that and the other one folds around and goes on the card in the background so you can fold it flat and pop it down so that when that opens going to all fold in make sure those are folded down on your first attempt give it a good rub and then you can see now it, that one's been added so you can add lots of presents all different sizes and we'll just do a quick one on the other side so same thing fold in half and this side as long as it doesn't come out any deeper you're right to go longer so you can make like different size ones it doesn't have to all be square this is just showing you the easy way you'd have to do some measuring to make rectangular ones I think you'll get the gist of it once you've made them. You'll be like, oh yeah, I get it. I get it. I'm just here to design it, show you how to do it, and then you will make your masterpiece. Love to share. Share the knowledge. So again, just open that up. Close it up. Glue on the two back open bits. A little mini gatefold card oh my word how cute is that how cute is that as a gatefold card make a little advent calendar here she goes she's oh don't want that to happen because now i'm gonna have glue on the inside and it stick to itself so again put it down put the one on the present first come on open up i'm trying to let you see let the viewers see so just squash that one down put that one tuck it behind it's going to go on the back and fold it flat you've got yourself another little present with a reindeer on cute there we go you can see you've got another present in and just to show that they do all fold flat before i go fold those little bits in there you go you've got your gatefold card to decorate again you've only got the depth of your papers in there so it depends on posting that's an eighth of an inch thickness so i don't know what your postal system is and then just open it up and there you go you've got a completely different look card so i hope you enjoyed that guys enjoy making and i'll see you again real soon thanks for watching bye